Good morning, my name is Tom Kalinowski. I'm the Director of Technology and Operations at Colonial Intermediate Unit 20. Today is Tuesday, July 23rd, 2019. Welcome to Tech Tips number 64. In today's episode, we're going to go over how we can use a tool called Yet Another Mail Merge to send out hundreds or even thousands of customized emails. Let's get started. So it's almost the beginning of the school year, and in uh, today's example, we're going to be sending out teacher assignment letters. These letters will tell the teacher, hey, you're going to be working in this school with this grade or with this uh, specialty, etc. So uh, let's get started. Uh, we have our uh, draft email here. Uh, we're going to leave the to field blank. Uh, we're not going to type anything in the to field. Uh, we have a subject, um, assignment. We have our signature here, um, and we have a couple of attachments that we're going to include in all of the emails that we send out. The next thing uh, you need to do is build the body of the email. So I've already built the body of the email in uh, a Google Doc. Um, you don't have to build it in a Google Doc. Um, if you uh, want to, though, you're, you're more than welcome. I build it in a Google Doc. That way I can uh, I can make it look nice. So I have an image up here, uh, some indents, etc. So now we're going to select everything in our letter. I'm going to go Control A, Control C, okay. go back to the email, and Control V. Okay. Uh, well, there's just a couple of things we need to clean up here, so we'll uh, go ahead and do that. We're going to get rid of this underscore. And maybe let's make this bold. All right, so now we're ready to specify our dynamic data. So I have a spreadsheet here. Okay, we can see it contains a uh, bunch of fields: first name, last name, program location, etc. Okay, so let's start with first name. We're going to copy that, and the reason why we're going to copy it is because when we specify this in our email, it needs to be exact. Okay, go back to our email. Okay, employee, paste in first name, and anything that we're going to merge, we need less than and greater than symbols around. Okay, and I see that made that bold, so let's just undo that. There we go. All right, so first name, space, and let's grab last name. Okay, so we're going to copy that back to the email. Less than, less than, paste, greater than, greater than. Okay, so that'll give us first name, last name. And now for assignment, We'll say location will be the school, uh, district will be just that, the district, and the program will list the specific type of class that the teacher will be in. All right, so let's take location, okay, go back to the email, less than, less than, paste, greater than, greater than, see those were bold, so let's undo the bold there, okay, so we'll go location, um, Let's just type in school. Uh, so the word school will always stay there, uh, but location will change. And then let's put the district in. So let's go back here. I'll take district. Go back to the email. Paste. And let's type in school district. Okay. And let's grab that program, copy that back to the email. Okay, so the letter will be addressed to first name, last name, as it's listed in the spreadsheet, along with the location school. So it'll say uh, New Orleans school, or Brighton school, or Bridgeport school. Um, and then it goes on to district, the dynamic district, school district. So that would be um, Orleans School District, Livingston School District, Gloucester School District, etc. And the last uh, item that it's merging is program. So it would say autistic support, visually impaired, hearing support. Okay, and that's it. It's going to send uh, that email out to all of the people that are specified in this email column uh, with all of that custom merge data. So let me show you how you go ahead and start that. Okay, so let's, uh, we're in here. We're going to go to add-ons. 
and we're go gonna go to yet another mail merge and we're going to say start mail merge I'll put a link to yet another mail merge in the description below Okay, the first thing it's going to ask for is your name, uh, mine's already there, along with the email template. The email template lists all of your draft emails. Okay, so um, we see a uh, 2019 uh, 20 teacher assignments. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. Okay, that is the email template that it's going to use. Okay, do I want to track opened, clicked, or bounced emails? Sure, we'll uh, go ahead and do that. Okay, and what we want to do is we want to make sure that our um, letters are set up properly prior to sending 19 emails in this case. Okay, so let's click on receive a test email and make sure that that comes through. Uh, all right. So we can see that completed. It says check your inbox to view the test email. So let's go ahead and check that. Okay, here's the test email that I received. Um, so we can see here uh, that it did get the employee correct, James Butt. It says New Orleans School, Orleans School District, Autistic Support. Okay, and let's just make sure that that matches up. So let's go back to our data here. Close this. So it should have been James Butt, New Orleans School, uh, New Orleans School in the Orleans School District. Uh, and artistic support so everything looks right okay so let's uh, let's go ahead and do that complete merge okay so back to yet another mail merge our add-ons yet another mail merge start mail merge okay our names there we have our email draft there and that's it we're gonna click on send 19 emails okay this process uh, might take uh, a little bit of time uh, not too much time maybe a, a minute or so we have a, uh, a paid subscription to yet another mail merge, uh, so you can see that uh, we get 1,500 uh, messages a day per account. Uh, the cost is uh, relatively uh, small for the entire district. Uh, there is a free version with a uh, smaller amount of uh, number of participants that you can send uh, each day. Um, as this is going, my uh, watch is vibrating like crazy uh, from the 19 different email messages that I'm getting. Um, so we can see that we're uh, halfway there. Uh, so uh, let's just give this a second to finish up. All right, um, so that uh, finished up. We can see it says all emails have been sent, 19 emails sent, and I can still send emails to 1,480 recipients. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on OK. We can see here that it added another column to my spreadsheet from merge status. So it says email sent and when that email was sent. Um, so all of these are uh, 1006 and 1007. Okay. Um, if we go back to our email here, okay, I can see all of the uh, messages that were sent. Let's go ahead and click on one of them. Okay. So this says uh, employee Maddie Poquet at the Phoenix School, uh, Maracopa School District, Physical Support. So everything is there. Uh, all of the attachments are there. Uh, so this worked beautifully. Um, if we go back to the spreadsheet, one thing I want to show you, which is pretty neat, um, under Merge Status, uh, we can see that this particular email was opened. Uh, which is great. So we know that that person uh, got that email. And there's also a little uh, uh, graphical representation, let me move my picture here, uh, graphical representation of that. So we can see uh, one is open. If we go back here, okay, and let's uh, click on another one. Okay, this one is to um, Gladys Rim. Go back to that spreadsheet. There we go. Um, so we can see that um, Gladys uh, also opened up that email, and now we see two have been uh, clicked on. If you ever go back into this spreadsheet later, uh, this visual track and report won't be there. Um, it'll just look like this. If you want to get that up at any time, you can go ahead and click on add-ons, yet another mail merge, and click on open track and report. And that'll bring that, uh, bring that right back up. So I hope you found that tip valuable. If you have 
any questions about yet another mail merge, I'd uh, be happy to answer them. Just place them in the uh, messages below. Uh, don't forget to uh, subscribe. Click that subscribe button and click the bell next to that. That way, anytime I post new content, you'll be the first to be aware of that. I hope you have a great day and a great school year. Have a good day.